As some of you might be aware, the folks over at IK Multimedia have just released a pretty major update for their Tonex ecosystem. So you can now go download the new software and get a full array of new features, some features that some folks have really been asking for to make some really nice workflow improvements. So today we're going to dive in. We're going to take a look at what those improvements are. I'll show you how you can access them and utilize them and just show you what they are. And hopefully this will help you to get off and running and work in even more efficient manner with the Tonex software. So without further ado, let's dive right over to Tonex software and see what the new update is all about. All right, so here we are over in the new Tonex software, and I'm sure a lot of folks who are familiar with Tonex software will notice immediately the changes and the different look that the software has. So I'm going to take you through all the differences and the new additions. I think you're going to be really impressed with the ability to navigate Tonex software in a much more efficient manner, which was a pretty big complaint from a lot of folks. So here are some of the things we're going to have, and here we're going to have new preset management, new filtering sidebar. We're going to have navigation improvements, redesigned collection section, and a redesigned library. And so let's dive right into this and take a look. First and foremost, let's start with the new preset management. So one thing that's going to be very important to realize is up here in the top left corner, I can click this button and I'm going to be toggling between managing tone models. So you see it says tone model browser. I can click this and it turns into preset browser. So here's all of my presets and I can go to all presets. I can go to favorite presets and favorite presets are just going to be ones that I come over here, hit the little star button. As soon as I do that, they'll show up over here in my favorites. I can unstar them from here and then my favorites are empty, but I have all my presets here. And then we can also go down to a my presets folder. So the neat thing about this and the really great addition is that we can add new folders. So I can come in here and click add folder, type in whatever I want here to create one, but I've already done that here with Archie Double Cream. You can see it's empty. I simply added that folder myself. Now, how do you work with this? Well, I could come over to my presets. You'll notice I have have my Archie Double Cream collection right here, which is actually available on my website. I'll have links to some of my tone model collections below so you can check those out. But I could simply come in here, I could select one tone model and drag it over. Now, the neat thing about it is you'll notice we go over to this new folder, but that doesn't remove it from my presets. That same preset is still going to be in my presets. We're just adding it to our own customizable user folder. So if I just want to be able to quickly find my Archie Double Cream collection, I can come back over here and I could do this one at a time if I wanted to, or I could hold my shift button while I click and select all of them drag them all over and you'll notice now they're all in my Archie Double Cream folder that I created. And I could also do this for, let's say, my Brit Silver Double Cream collection as well. I hit create on that. I go back to my presets. I can come here to my Brit Silver Double Cream collection select all of those, drag those into there. And again, they're still in my presets folder, but now I can easily access and organize my custom collections here. And I think this is just going to be absolutely invaluable. The beautiful part here too, is you notice we have a filters menu at the bottom as well. So if I wanted to go into all presets, let's say, and say, I only want ones for electric guitar and for rock, uh, and just that are labeled as drive. And you'll see what will come up, right? And if I change that to clean, there's nothing that I have in my particular library, but we can now navigate, we can select or deselect any of these if I want something for acoustic guitar, or electric bass, or whatever it might have. So that's how we're going to be able to navigate through our new presets. And if you notice up here, I can also click the little menu selector up here and I can have all my folders here. I can go through these very effortlessly without having to actually come Come down and see them over here, I can come up to this. And this is always going to be available to us. I can go all presets. I can choose just drive presets, clean presets, fuzzy. I can go just to my presets. I can go to the user folders that were added. So you'll notice up here is if I, if I select that and then go back over to my tone model browser, you'll notice that that's now the selected tone model. It's going to be very similar over in tone models browser. We're going to have all tone models, our favorited tone models, my tone models, right? And I could 
actually star these here and they're going to show up under my favorites now as well. Uh, and then ToneNet downloads as well as anything we've downloaded from ToneNet. We have our ToneNet button over here. We can connect to that as per usual and it takes just a moment to get those up and running. We can select one. It's loading the tone model. I could hit download on that. And then when I'm not in ToneNet anymore, you'll notice that it's now in my ToneNet downloads. There's also the factory collections, and these are all of the owned collections I have. And then again, I can come over here and add custom folders, just like we could with the presets. We create that. I can go to my tone models and I could drag tone models over into there. And I still have it over in the my tone models folder, but now it's also here in my Archie Double Cream. So I could organize these the same way as I could with presets. And again, I can come to all tone models and I can come here and I can filter this. I can filter to only ones that I own, which is going to be very nice. You don't have to sift through things that you don't own that you're not going to be able to use. You can choose guitar, drive, fuzzy, whatever you want. You can choose multiples, right? And we can choose whether it's going to be just a pedal tone model or just an amp only or amp and pedal or amp and cab or the full pedal amp and cab. And it'll just give us whatever we have in our tone models in the selected folder up here. But notice again, when we're in tone model browser, we still can come and access our presets from over here and switch those out without having to navigate over to the preset browser. So it is quite nice. We can, we can create those custom preset folders and have access to them over here. So really, really nice new new navigation features. And again, we can save a preset. If we're over here in our tone models, I could choose my Fuchs Double Cream Push 1, make some tweaks to it to get it maybe sounding the way that I want exactly. And then I can come up here, hit save, and I could actually just rename this. You'll notice it's still named, let's say Fuchs Double Cream OD. One, I can come up here and I can save that. Now, when I navigate over to my presets, you'll notice that that is now a preset I have. And I could drag that to a folder or whatever I want to do with it. But you'll notice even if I switch away from that and then I can come up here and come to my presets and you'll notice it's in my list now. I can click that and it's going to restore it with the settings that I changed, not just with everything sort of up on five like it does with the tone model. So really nice way to be able to navigate around that. We're always going to be able to get to our presets from here. We can also now simply import and export presets right from here. So if I hit import, I can choose where I want to import the preset from and I can also export the preset to a location on my computer and that's going to work really beautifully. Now another really cool feature is the view option. We're going to either have list or tab. So we can actually now have tabs here which is going to show the little icon of the amp and a whole bunch of other options here which are going to be able available also in the list view. And we'll talk about those in a second, but we can use either one of these. We also have a very cool feature here to expand this upwards. And when we do, the advanced parameters are gonna show so we can still make tweaks. Watch this. I click that. We now see a larger list of our tone models or in our tab view, but we can choose one of them and we can still make tweaks to those particular tone models right from here with our advanced parameters. So we don't need to have the amp skin showing. We can just do it as such. It gives us a nice way to navigate. Now you'll notice down here, we have an info button. So it's gonna give us all the info of that particular tone model. We have the next button here, which is going to be edit the tone model. We can change the name or change the configuration and save that. We can also hit the upload tone model so that we can upload it to ToneNet. We can trash it here if we don't want it anymore, right? We could take this and it's going to delete my tone model. I don't want to do that. Or we could favorite it right from here. So really nice stuff. Same sort of idea if we get back to our presets, we have those same controls, right? We have the ability to check out the preset info. 
we have the ability to export the preset right from here. We can also delete the preset right from there. Another interesting thing that I forgot to mention about the user folders, if we have, let's say, moved a particular preset from our My Presets folder to a custom folder, if I come to this custom folder and delete it, it's interesting. It says, are you sure you want to remove JS Archie Double Cream Clean from the folder? This won't delete it from your library. So I can come in here and delete it from here. But if I go to My Presets, it's still there. I can always drag it back if I so desire. So that's also a very, very cool feature. Another great new feature is the ability to lock the amp as well. So we've always had the ability to lock the cab. Let's say we had a cab we really liked and we wanted to try that cab with different tone models. We have the ability now to also lock the amp. So let's say we lock this amp and we just want to try it out with different cabs from different tone models. We can do that and you'll notice the amp stays locked while the cab changes. And again, I can unlock that and then just end up back where both are changing. Or I could lock our cab and try different tone models with the same cab. So that's another nice new addition that's going to be very handy for us. Another great feature that a lot of folks are gonna be very happy with is if we come over to our cab tab at the top and if we click right on the cab portion of it, the name, we can pull down and choose whether we want to use a VIR or a custom IR. Now, the way that custom IRs are handled is going to be very handy now. If we come over to our little edit button here, if I click this, the management of IRs is much, much better now. You'll notice if I just come over here and delete all of these that I have and it asks me to add IRs, so I can now come over to where I have these downloaded wherever I have my IRs down, like I can multi-select a whole bunch of them, hit open and they all show up just like that. I can select them from here and I'm using them in a much more efficient manner, much better than the way it was before. We had to load each individual IR, which was very frustrating. And then once we have that, we can lock it or we can save it to a preset. We could have it work however we want. So that's another very cool feature. Also, there's now a dedicated collections button up here by the tone net button. When we click that, you'll see it gives us the Tonex versions, right? And it shows what's included in that version, Tonex, Tonex Max. And then it can also be used to show all collections and it takes a second for all of those to load up but now we can access all of these collections that we have and you'll notice here there's a couple of my bundles that I have as part of the tone partner program in conjunction with the folks at IK multimedia and once they've loaded up we can navigate through those we can choose IK signature collections or we can go down to the tone partners something like here there's my particular tone collections and you can choose these right from the Tonex app, you can come in here and you can check them out, try them out, listen to the demos and mess with them. So that's going to be a very cool addition. Now, unfortunately, I can't really show you much in the way the new librarian works. I'm actually not in my studio. I don't have my Tonex pedal with me, but we'd connect our Tonex pedal, we'd show up up here. But we have, again, uh, a nicer way of being able to navigate using our custom user folders and whatnot to be able to either go between loading a preset or a tone model. Very nice stuff. Uh, I can go into my little custom uh, folders that I created and I would drag those up onto the pedal if it was connected. So very cool. And again, we can update our firmware and do the other things we could always do from here. All right, so I think that that pretty much covers it. There's also going to be an excellent set of release notes that you can peruse on your own as well. Hopefully there's nothing that I missed in there, but I think a lot of folks are going to be very, very happy with this update. All right, so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I really truly do hope that that helps you to be able to utilize your Tonex software in a much more efficient manner. I know there were some complaints about certain workflow things, and I know there's more improvements even coming in the future, but hopefully this is a step in the right direction to get folks feeling like they can get around their Tonex software and work in a speedier fashion. So thanks so much for tuning in. Go grab your update now. Today I'm going to leave you with one of my latest collections that I have up available on my website for the Tonex ecosystem, and I really truly hope you do enjoy the demo video. So please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment of watching it, and also please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out, and I hope you enjoy the new Tonex update. Be back really soon. Ciao for now. Thank you.